then, because I do like to be in my kitchen, uh, we're doing something really, really easy that a lot of people love. But for some reason, just doesn't taste quite right. So I'm going to show you my way. I'm not going to say it's the right way, but this is my way of making potato salad. Nice and simple. Two potatoes. That's it. I am adding a couple of spring onions, cracked black pepper, and salt. And of course, one minute. Mayonnaise. So obviously, if you don't like onions, um, but quite you can obviously use chives. I just find chives. They're lovely, but they just don't have the punch of an onion. So I'm sticking the spring onions. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away. Right, guys, really, really easy. I'm not showing you how to chop a potato or a cut, but I am gonna give you the times on how long and the best way it'll come out. So, your potato, nice and easy. That's what we like. Straight in half, okay, in half. I'm gonna go, Half again, turn it up, half again, so you're lucky, there we go, Ooh. all right, and then in half again, so you end up with a nice sized potato. We've got our water in the pan, if you're following me off of my website, you already know what I've done with this water. So, pop potatoes straight in. All right, I'll just quickly cut these up. Because I didn't have these prepared for you. I uh, hope you do find this interesting or handy. Handy, definitely good. I would love that. Um, would love to know what you think. Uh, if you want to drop me a little reply, a little review. Is there anything else you want me to do? I really don't mind. So, we're using only two potatoes, so nice and cheap, so if you've got a nice big bag or a sack, um, two potatoes isn't really going to make a lot, but what it will do is make sure that you've got something to eat and something that's quite nice and tasty, that's nice and ready in your fridge and waiting to go. Uh, just a quick one, uh, another way of cutting them. Cut them in half, in half again, and then just go one, two, three, and straight in the pot. Really works, obviously, if you get a nice even sized potato like this one. So, in we go. I hope my pan's big enough. Oh dear. All right. Yeah, try using the right size pan. I thought this one might be big enough. Yeah, it's just about do. So that is it for the potatoes. And uh, all I'm gonna do, we're gonna leave those to cook. I'm gonna pop those on. 20 minutes from cold. That's it, that's all you need to do. Don't boil the water and throw them in. Don't put them on a really high heat and let them go. Uh, 20 minutes on a nice medium heat. So, there we are. Uh, this is actually my hot one, so we'll stick it on there. Guys, if you can get yourself one of these as well, they are so helpful. Honestly, the amount of times that I put things on, I forget about them. You can't with this. So we're gonna stick this back up on the side. All right, your taters are on. Next. Spring onions. Just take your bottoms off. Make sure you've got nothing looking. And these are very good, so I don't really need to worry. In a king, you don't really want to use the little ends that look like this. But we can use it all the way up to the end. So very, very little waste. I'm just gonna whip those little daddy ends off. Alright, turn them the other way. Off with the root. And then very, very thinly slice, or as thin as I can get it, uh, your spring onion. 
So this is exceptionally boring, watching me slice spring onions. I get that. I'm not looking because I know I will chop my nail off. And as we've just had them done, um, I really don't fancy going back. So I'm not being ignorant. I'm just going to chop away because I'm not that great to be looking at you and chopping at the same time. That's just silly. I'm not even going to pretend. So we're using all of the spring onion right up to where you think it's starting to look a little bit drab, a little bit meh. So, right. That's it. That is pretty much it because everything else we can't do until the potatoes are cooked. So, and that is my crazy dogs in the background. I love them, but Jesus Christ, I wish they shut up sometimes. And they have the most lousiest of timing. Right, as I said, that is all we're doing at the moment. I'm not gonna sit here and you're not gonna wait 20 minutes for these potatoes to boil. So, I'm gonna pop this in a pot and pop them in the fridge, but they're all ready to go after these are waiting. I'm going to come back after these potatoes are boiled and we'll run through it one more time and I'm going to try and chill them so you can see how they should turn out. So fingers crossed I can chill them as well and sort them out and I'll be back later with the rest of it and I'll see you in a bit, all right? So I'm back with our potato salad. Uh, as you can see here, we have our potatoes that have been nicely chilling and cooling down for us to play with so and you didn't need to see that so here comes the fun bit all right chuck your potatoes into a large bowl and all we're going to do really simple sprinkle some of your cracked black pepper as much as you like it's basically personal preference so i like black, cracked black pepper So, all right, a little bit of salt. Again, you don't have to put salt in it, but I actually like a little bit of salt. All right, then we get our spring onions, which we did earlier. So again, this is making it nice and simple to put together. Nice little sprinkle of them all over. Nice, lovely, lovely. And just for something a little different. I actually fancy a little bit of mixed herbs. Not too much, because you don't want to kill the flavour. Just enough. There we go. Right, I forgot the mayonnaise. Back in one minute. Right, again, depending on how you like your um, potato salad if you like it with a little bit of mayonnaise or lots of it it's up to you but if you allow them to cool the mayonnaise will st stick better to the potatoes try not to do them hot because the mayonnaise is just going to melt straight off it your potato salad will look like ugh, um, and you won't want to eat it so always better if your potatoes are nice and chilled i like quite a bit of mayonnaise so about that much if you can see that See that? There we go. Um, probably half of that again. So all we're going to do, don't really mix because you don't want to try not to break up the potatoes too much because you don't want mashed potato salad. We do want to keep the shapes of our potatoes. So if we just lift and turn. Because hoping so, your potatoes will be that soft that they will actually like just break with your tongue when you open them in your mouth. So hoping I've got this right. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. So simple, but something that's so nice and tasty and has saved you loads of money at the supermarket. Also, it will last longer. So I'm putting mine into a nice sized little dish. I do advise put it into a lidded pot, one that will seal, you will get the uh, yield out of it then. You'll also get the amount, well, it will last in the fridge. Let's be simple about it. 
as I say, it's only a couple of potatoes. But look at that. Uh, I will say it will taste better tomorrow morning. Obviously. As we know, everything always tastes better the next day. And that, oh, without chucking it over yourself like me, is your lovely homemade potato salad. Give it a try. Play with it. Do what you want with it. But I'm going to go and cook dinner, or so I say, and sort this out and pop this in the fridge. So I'll see you again another time. Take care, guys.